Hey everybody, I'm Gigi, and I want you guys to check out Nobody me. Nobody cares, Landon's in the video. Everybody likes me. I don't know, you guys answer that in the comments below. That being said, check out this meat we have right here from US Wellness Meats. It's a ribeye. I was planning on cooking it my style. However, Landon was like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take over, and I am gonna show everybody how to make the perfect ribeye. Boy, I'll take it away. Hi everybody, this is Landon of Landon Lake Celebrities. Oh, hi. We have a great show for you today because I'm gonna teach you how to cook a buff s'more frianch ribeye. Mr. Mensa knows how to read. So we're gonna get down to brass tacks because I don't believe in vamp. First thing you're gonna wanna do, bring your steak up to room temperature. Now, we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes of cooking it. Now, I like to do it the French way. Gordon Ramsay has made this popular on the internet. It's called a butter braising. Basically, you do a really nice hot sear. You know what? I'm not gonna give away my secrets. We're gonna show you in a close-up. Here we go. Let's get hot and tasty. I'm scared. So I've got plastic gloves you'll see on here. I'm gonna keep my hands clean. So the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove the steak from the packaging, put it on your clean cutting board or your prep area. So once your steak is on the cutting board, you're gonna wanna pat it dry. Why do you do that? Don't ask me stupid questions. Now that your steak is removed from the packaging, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to create your bark. What does that mean? None of your business, but I'll tell you because you're my best friends. Aww. Take your salt and you apply liberally. And I mean liberally. If you think you have too much salt, you do not apply some more. Are you now out of salt? Great job, you did it right. You get four stars. Not five? No, because one of the stars is almost going into supernova and that's gonna create a quasar and then it's gonna explode all life as you know it because <laughs> there's one unstoppable force in the universe and that is a quasar. Sorry about that. We're talking about meat today. Back on focus. So you apply a liberal coating of salt to both sides of your meat. And then if you like, you can also add a coating of pepper. Some people don't like pepper on their steak. Those people are called losers. So we're gonna go ahead and add some pepper too. Great, now your steak is fully seasoned and ready for the grill. Wait, Landon, I really like steak sauce. Get out. If you've got a good steak, you are ruining your steak by adding steak sauce. And this is a good steak, people. Grass-fed, grass-finished, well-marbled prime steak. That's all you need. And then if you have that, salt and pepper, and you've got a great, great recipe for an amazing steak. Now what we're gonna wanna do is get a cast iron skillet. I don't have a cast iron skillet. Go buy one, be an adult, all right? Be an adult with money and go buy yourself a cast iron skillet. Get that thing as hot as you can until it starts smoking. Once the pan starts smoking, then you apply a little bit of oil, maybe about, I don't know how much, a, a little amount. See how much I just put? That was right. Now your pan is smoking and you've got your oil. You always wanna put the steak on the pan and lay it away from you so you don't get splattered by your hot Orioles. Nobody likes getting splattered by hot Orioles. Oreos. Oh, Orioles. I didn't think Oreos was part of the equation here. Sorry about her, folks. Anyways, so now that you've laid your steak on the pan, super hot pan, laid away from you, now you sear it for one minute on one side. Now we're gonna take it with a pair of tongs and flip it and lay it away from us and sear it on the other side for one minute. Landon, how many times do we do that? Twice. Oh, one sorry. minute on one side, one minute on another side. Flip again after another minute. One minute on that side, one minute on that side. Are we all done? Yeah, if you like your steak super rare, but I don't. Now you add a batch load of butter. Grass fed, grass finished butter? Yes. Great, because that's what we have in the house. So then you put about a half a stick of butter in and then let that melt, swirl it all around your pan and then angle the pan and ladle the butter on top of the steak. And you do that for one minute. Then you flip again, one minute, then 30 seconds, 30 seconds, down the hatch. Well, Landon, and my steak's done. Do I just pop it down the hatch? No. Don't you do. We're gonna start a timer. We're gonna wait five minutes minimum. 10 minutes is better. Half an hour to seven days, too long. We're gonna let all of the meat suck all the juices back into the center of the steak. If you cut it right now, 
all that juice is gonna exit the stake, it's gonna find a new home, it's gonna rack up a bunch of credit card debt, now your wife leaves you because you spent all your nest egg. You're not gonna want that, good God, man. But I'm impatient! Oh. Then, then you shouldn't be grilling steak. Hope you enjoy your steak. I sure did. Did you? You can't eat butter. Loser, that wasn't nice. I apologize. Great job. Don't touch me. What? <laughs> yeah, you guys got fooled. She was standing on an apple box this whole time. Well, I hope that was really informative to all of you. You can go over to uswellnessmeats.com and you can pick up this French ribeye or any other cut of meat actually. And you're gonna want to because this meat is freaking delicious. Don't judge me. I'm delicious. Oh, yeah.